Why, hello there. It's been a while. This is Klaus Endelmeer. Hopefully you've come back to uh, another video of mine, or you stumbled here by accident. Good. You are here. So yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I've been uh, having a very long break, and uh, as you can see, I, I still never really left Minecraft. As you... Oh, there's, there's, a, there's an evil gathering over there. That's really unusual. Th that's not supposed to be. Wait a minute. Oh, I may have redug this area. Never mind, ignore me. They're still evil though. They're pigmen. And we should probably build a contraption to kill them all. But anyway. Yep, so I'm back guys. Uh it's been after university and I've sort of graduated now and I wanted to show you guys around my world. Well, this world that I've been messing around with. I have literally named this world messing around. Because uh that's what I've been doing here. I'm going to show you guys uh, around my little world and uh, we'll hop into something else. Uh, we have a zombie XP crusher here that I've mainly been using for my enchantment and all that. And it's it works quite well, just probably not as efficient as the other builds that you see because I'm kind of a redstone idiot. Anyway, so that's, that's still there. That's worrying. That's still there. Anyway, so there's a spawner in there and basically they fo uh, it's water funneling, funneling them into the spot there's a crusher system and uh, oh, okay the stub block came forward yep and there's uh, health potions here that it's a zombie crusher so you gotta use health potions and this thing is just throwing zombie flesh at me anyway so yep that's pretty much it the, this leads to my mind and uh, yes but I kind of blocked it off because I need to do AFK here and I didn't want anyone anything coming through and killing me which has happened more more times than I'd like to admit more times than I'd like to admit <sighs> good times good times guys good times so oh bit lag bit lag oh not my world that's, uh, that's disconcerting anyway the never is always a bit laggy for me. I was trying to build a tunnel down to some um, ice spike biomes. I haven't finished it, obviously. You can see the end there, and yeah, it hasn't gone well. Anyway, so this this portal here, there's there's this little never hub has only three portals. Uh, this portal here, as you can see, is my jungle base. It's uh, abandoned now, but this is where I first started out, where I first came into the world. Uh, Wow, that uh, that sounds really uh, <laughs> philosophical, but uh, yeah, so this is where I essentially spawned, and I've got a little map around, ooh, wow, that was kind of weird, anyway, so I've got a little map around here, these two big white things, I'll show you guys once I'm outside, and you can see this little, uh, this little square here has been cleared out by me, because I spawned in a jungle, and people who have seen my videos before, no, I dislike jungles with a passion. And yeah, they they have just been decimated. You'll see a little building down here. Um, I will probably show you that. I might not show you that, but it's where I get most of my snow. Uh, as I will show you where I've been using it. The hint is those two white big things. So, a yeah, little storage room, cow farm, the standard stuff. Um, sheep farm over here, and I've got a little uh, chicken coop. Uh, I need to remodel that. I mean, there are, there are more efficient designs out there, but yeah. So, I mean, this place isn't totally abandoned. I've still got a running um, pumpkin farm here, uh, slash melon farm. I don't really use that much melon. I use it for brewing, so I don't really use that much. Uh, pumpkins, I use more. I'll show you guys where I'm using most of that. And most of this stuff is still here. I, I've been meaning to take it out. Uh, not really, not really gonna be taking it with me. I mean, these things. I hate to say they're a bit useless for me because I don't really do horses. Do horses? Nobody does horses, but uh, <laughs> I don't really ride horses, even though I found some. So yeah, uh, let's see what else is in these goodies. Oh well, I'm probably gonna be taking this place down. I mean, eh, little vine, impromptu vine farm down there. Uh, this is leading down to my tunnels. There's um, is this slime farm over here or over there? 
No, it's the end of the place. So yeah, there's not really that much down there. It's, uh, I've been using a new mining trick with poke holes and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this place had a nice, nice lake, and I just decimated it. I had a, I put in a sugarcane farm, and it was all good and pretty until I realized I didn't have enough glowstone, and it all went, uh, it all went downhill. Anyway, so this is just the outside of um, this my base, and if you look up. These are what the two big white blobs were on the map. The the bottom of this one isn't isn't white, but as you can see, the top of it is uh, all snow, and it's a mob farm. Thanks for giving away, creeper and zombie. Yeah, but it's two big mob farms uh, that I had out here. Hadn't really lit up most of the caves, so I just built in two. Tried to make it more efficient, but uh, it didn't quite work. It still works. Still works. It works fine. It's uh, but yeah. And uh, if you guys are wondering, this isn't a vanilla uh, texture pack. I've been running on. Uh, I forgot which texture pack it is, but it's it's pretty standard stuff. I'm trying to work on my own texture pack here. And that little building for snow is right over there. You've got a little uh, bunny cage here. Oh, aren't they cute? We're gonna slaughter you for meat. Well, that's pretty dark. So we'll just hop into the Never again. Uh, this deal with all the lag, and yeah, we'll hop over to the other base that uh, we've moved into. So I just want to show you guys quickly around this world because we've got something lined up later on, and yeah, you'll understand why I'm giving you a a sort of a brief tour here. Okay, so we've hopped back into the Never, and the lag is kicking in. Boy, is the lag kicking in! Boy, is the lag kicking in? Please stop. Okay, let's. Oh, oh, no, no, no! It's painful. Okay, and that, that. Oh, there's a, there's a little guy over here. That's kind of. Oh, he's adorably horrifying. Why is his skull? His skull covers all of his face, dude. Does he grow? Up to, does he grow a face? Does he grow a face like you? Uh, never mind. You never get an answer out of these guys. Anyway, so this one is my sand base, and yeah, so <sighs> because most people know, I'm going back to my roots. My first episode ever was in a sand world, and I miss it. And it's sort of where I want to go back to, and where I keep getting drawn back to. But yeah. I, it's really funny because I have two favorite blocks and they are just completely conflicting. Uh, let's jump into bed here and I'll show you around this base. Completely conflicting whereas uh, one is sand and one is snow. Don't exist in connecting biomes at all. So yeah. As you can see the jungle is over there. I've not really traveled that far. and Don't ask. I've been trying to dig outside to make this place look like a fortress. Hasn't worked out well. Anyway, so this is my um, Never Portal Cube. I uh, I like to think that this is uh, appropriately sized. Anyway, so this is sort of my massive furnace type deal. Uh, very very hopper intensive. Couldn't find a good uh, couldn't find a good good one for the resources that I had. I built this one quite early on moving in, so it's uh it's. It's uh, let's just say it was very labor intensive. I've still got stuff cooking in here, and it's lava powered, and lava comes from the never. The never, I I, I pushed everything up into the ceiling, but I used to, uh, as most of you can see, there was a ladder down, and yeah, that's where I did most of my lava collecting. Yep. So a little impromptu uh, brewing stand, and yep, simple stuff. I mean, this is all not not none of this is pretty much my design I just kind of copied it and uh, yeah there's this uh, there's this little contraption here that I like to call my my own little baby so anything that you put in here is shot down and as you can see it's passing down I, I make picks up here with the cobblestone and the wood and the sticks and I put them in here and they just get shot down into the mine and because I normally mine with uh, with stone pickaxes, I shoot a lot of those down there. And there's a collection system at the bottom. And this is my um, my little elevator up to the top. Using this chute, goes across there, goes into these boxes. Chests, sorry. Uh, yep. 
and a little pumpkin slash melon farm. I originally had it split down the middle, so it was melon on one side, but boy, I realized how little I use my melons. That could be misconstrued very badly. Yep, so it's just very simple stuff. You press the button, the pistons come down, you collect the melons. Sorry, you collect the pumpkins. Pumpkins, melons, same deal. I think, maybe. Anyway, the, I use a lot of pumpkins, and I'm going to show you guys why I use a lot of pumpkins. Little uh, impromptu never warp farm, two pistons, pushed up against each other, press a button, easy deal. Uh, cactus farm, funnels down to here. Uh, I took some of most of it out, and this is compressed ice at the bottom. So I've been using compressed ice and here, and compressed ice at the bottom of the ice elevator. This one here is uh, garbage disposal. Don't see many many of these in uh, English Let's Play because we don't actually have these in England. But I'm gonna build one anyway, and I have no idea why it's a block thicker than it needs to be. I wonder why. Anyway. Down here is uh, my storage room. I've only started putting stuff in, and there's an easy way to get down here from the from the roof, and it's on jumping on these slime blocks. Has worked well for me, sort of. I've only died twice coming down here, and that's probably twice too many, some would say. But yeah, here's a little vine farm, my enchanting table. Gotta move these. And this is my infinite water source. My only infinite water source. So that's kind of bad. I've got some uh, valuables chests here. I think it's this one. Yep. Got blocks of diamonds, lapis. Uh, not too much iron since uh, hoppers have basically been draining me dry. Oh boy. Boy, hoppers have been draining me dry. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys outside here. Because um, you saw the inside of the design. I'm going to show you guys the outside. Uh, it's no good way of getting up, is there? Yeah, well, getting to a suitable position. Oh man, didn't think uh, looking for a way to get out of my own base would be so hard. Oh, there's a there's a place. I hope I survive. Okay, there we go. So from the outside, it looks quite cool. I mean, I think. Whoa, what's happening there? Oh, it's connected up to the glass of the um of the pumpkin farm. Okay, so here you see that it's connecting up to the glass on the inside. I'm a big glass fan, as you can see. I, I like things to be encased, but I, I kind of want them to be brightly colored kind of deal. Got loads of pumpkins for lighting. No other faces are showing. You don't want to scare the neighbors. Yeah, scare the neighbors. And, uh, yep. So that's pretty good. I mean, the alternating roof thing. Don't ask. I was probably drunk, maybe. So yeah, as you can see, I can see some of the stuff inside. And if uh, if I was playing on a multi uh, multiplayer server, you could probably see me running around inside like a madman. And yeah, that's how I like to live my life. Yep. This uh this area uh here, as you can see, these are dark oak logs. This area, I was already planning to have like a sort of garage maintenance area deal, like on a house, uh, so it's just sheltered from the elements because it rains a lot here. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> I have no idea what I was gonna do here. I think I may have just like missed out a chunk, but yeah, it's it's I don't know, it's it, it is what it is. I might have just done some red song contraptions down here. I showed you some of the traps I was gonna do, this, that, and the other. And yeah, but <clears throat> that's the outside. It's uh, it's pretty much the same on all sides, and it's pretty modular. Uh, it's easy to build. I mean, I think it was ten by ten, or uh, the inside, the glass bit in the middle was ten by ten, and I just added like two uh, two extra blocks on the other side, so it's fourteen by fourteen, and then you jut out a bit. These areas, by the way, terrible idea, because the mobs just below here, they can stand there and they're shaded by that block. It's ridiculous. And you walk out here and you think, oh, the sun's cleared all the mobs out. Nope. They just stood there waiting for you to show up like some homeless person asking for change. Yep. Anyway, we're going to pop down to the bottom. Hopefully the water's still here. Yep, the water's still here. And yeah, so 
here the chest where you, you're throwing stuff down. The chest up here is where you're sending up things up to the top. I'm gonna throw in some here, and as you can see, yep, it's all working fine. And I think that was supposed to be compressed ice, but oh, anyway, it's working fine, so it should be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much down here to be honest. I mean, there's a slime farm down here. Terrible, terrible idea. Doesn't work properly, and I'm not really getting as efficient as I'd like it to be. I'll uh, I'll probably change that at a later date. I mean, that bottom layer, I want it to be like maximum spawn things, uh, maximum spawn places. Probably gonna te like block up that middle, uh, that bottom layer, so I can put the water up a bit, put the lava up a bit. So when they jump down, they'll hit the lava and then they'll come down here. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all like future uh, future stuff, and as you can see here, why I'm not, why I needed a lot more pumpkins and melons. These tunnels are 64 by three, well not by three. It's six. Um, there's three gap. There's like uh, two gaps between each pumpkin, so it's like three block modules, and they go for 64. It's like a stack. And normally when I go uh, mining, I carry like a stack of torches. And a stack of pumpkins. Uh, sorry, jack o' lanterns. So every uh, every jack o' lantern, I do a poke hole. Every jack o' lantern, do a poke hole. Yeah, and it's been relatively successful, as you can see by my resources. But down here, you get a clearer view of my slime farm, which is not working. <sighs> Progress. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You can see the end of the farm. The farm down there, and that's it guys this is around my world but for the rest of the video as you can see you're only about halfway f a third of the way through I'm gonna show you guys something different so I'm gonna quickly hop on to something else and I'll see you guys over there alright and oh no don't, oh my gosh don't snag me up <laughs> bye don't <snag> me. <laughs> okay that's kinda of funny so we as a server have Decided to let this guy on here. You want to introduce yourself to this guy? Yo! So I'll send Nomir here. And uh, you guys know who I am, hopefully. I am just a nobody. So nobody Klaus is a good friend of ours from, from almost one, what was it, like two months after I started YouTube or something like that? So almost two years ago is when we first met. Did we? Yeah. Uh, how time flies. It's crazy. Time does fly. And <laughs> now he's back. So Yay. he's back with us here on Omni Slabs, and we're going to blow up the council hall. And you guys are probably like, but Dino, why are you blowing up the council hall, which you worked so hard to build? And the answer is simply because it's too big, and we're going to build something bigger. We're not asking that, Dino. We're not asking that. You're not? Nope. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, by the way, guys, my, my job on the role here, my job on the server here, is exactly this. I will be destroying stuff. Yep. <laughs> Except for the door, we're leaving the door, remember? Really? The door is sacred. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. We'll, get, we'll put that in a museum somewhere. <laughs> we'll just build, like, a giant glass case around it. We'll, 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 put it, um, we'll put it next to, like, the T-Rex skeleton. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, right. no, creeper, Wait. creeper, creeper. I'm out of chicken. I'm out of chicken. All right, you should Oh, God! Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, frick. Oh, that was... That was... Boo! <laughs> that was kind of bad. Oh god, stop lighting it! No! <laughs> oh, ah, my gosh, almost, oh my gosh, oh my, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Why? Why does this chain stop happening? Are you not putting them it's regularly? It, uh, I didn't light them all up, but I, they're all in a line. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to throw me one too? Oh god! Wait, the creepers set the TNT? Oh god! Uh, I think they might. Um, I died. <laughs> Yep, I died. Yeah, guys, this is Spawn. <laughs> if you never yep. seen it before. <laughs> I'm going to quickly There's pop over so there. so many zombies up here now because we, we knocked off all the torches. Oh, God. Has it just become like a impromptu mob farm? Mob farm! Oh, by the way, I'm probably going to be building one sometime soon. So. Cool. So just is from it going to have like, a bunch of multi-colored resorters? What? Like, you know how we have colored glass and stuff now? Yeah. Are you going to build a knob sorter on it? Because oh. that'd be cool. 
uh, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where uh, it's. I've seen people try it, and I'm way not smart enough for that. So I might do like a creeper sorter, so it just funnels it out into like a uh, into like a sun area, Wait. and as its sun comes out, it kills all the others. Well, you can funnel. Um, you can. Creepers are scared of cats. Zombies are attracted to villagers, and skeletons are afraid of dogs now. Yeah, but they're not always. Um, they're not a hundred percent. Are you actually up there? Or am I seeing the stars? Yeah. It just looks like it's a massive crack down the middle. Oh, does it? So no, it looks like the whole city hall, uh, the whole council hall's got a butt crack. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you haven't noticed, uh, me coming back, I am overhauling the whole channel. Screw the not swearing thing. I I was family friendly. If you don't like me, you can. He hates your family. Well, that's probably not too far from the truth, to be honest. Dude, that is so cool. <laughs> what, to what hate your it? own family? Okay. No, no, no. The, if, you're, if you're in the council hall, like in the actual the floor part of it, if yeah. you look up, that's really cool. Wait, are you down there? Yeah, and Did I come down. all the... Oh, really? What? I'm Sorry. all the way up here now. Well, I'm up, up in a few. Oh, there's a spider up here. Yeah, we're keeping somewhere. the door, though. That's the only thing we're not demolishing. Uh, can we get oh, rid did of Did you lose like your a... pick, by the way? What? Did you lose the pick you got? What pick? Oh, the one that was in my storage room that I was going to give you. Oh, I never took it. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. I'm, not re I'm probably not going to take a lot of the stuff, to be honest. Cause, uh, I not just... even to get work? Okay, that's cool. I I'm more of like After a, a while, you're just going to start for trading for stuff, right, though? Yeah, I'm probably going to have my own stuff. You know me, I'm, right. I'm a you're strong, independent woman of color. <laughs> oh god, that's not in the recording. That's <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ah, I'm never gonna live that down. Mm -mm. No. You know what? I'm gonna have that on a t-shirt. Why? I'm probably gonna get shot over that. Yep. Let's see. That the actually looking down from the roof is actually quite nice. The floor design looks pretty cool. It looks like an arrow shape, but you'll say. You know what yeah. it actually does look like when you're looking down on like um aircraft carrier, but like space age aircraft. I almost died. Almost. I almost fell from a high place. <laughs> I'm I'm just here enjoying the view as the sun comes up in the butt crack of the council. <laughs> That's what if we leave it like this, it, I'm just gonna nickname it the butt crack. I'll meet you over <laughs> at the butt crack in five. <laughs> Ah, that's my contribution to the server, guys. I'm yeah. out. <laughs> Never <lost. laughs> Oh, that's... I thought I saved it. I thought I'd saved it. That was great. Because I saw you fall, too. It was like... It was like I, was, I just looked up and I just started screaming and he was like... <laughs> I thought I'd saved it because I landed on like the rim and then I fell forward and I'm like, no! <laughs> uh, sorry guys who's uh, using headphones because um, you're probably all dead now. Yep, everybody did. Wait a minute, the zombies are crowding around something. Are they, are they like villages in these bottom bits? Yeah, that's how the iron farm works. Really? I thought they were up there. I thought they were little There's four outfits. different cells, right? And each cell has villages. In it. Oh god, are you? Oh right, it's the old design, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So, my first. Okay, guys. Um, all the stuff I said before was true and untrue. I'm sort of gonna be like higher, a higher worker on the set. Oh god, it's a bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't shoot the, don't shoot the messenger. Don't okay, shoot the no, messenger. Continue. continue, continue. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to be, like, the higher guy to basically do stuff for them, build for them, and, like, big construction. My first job is Dino hiring me to take out this roof. And well, I'm guessing roof. you want me to take out the iron, uh, iron um, golden Everything cell suit? Everything except for the door. Okay. So, I'm basically, over the next maybe two or three days, uh, I'm going to come, come back. I'm going to go get settled down in where I decided... I'm gonna come back with some picks. I'm gonna. Well, the TNT really doesn't look effective, to be honest. I'll be perfectly honest. That it was really 38, doesn't... too. What? It was 38 TNT up there. Oh, That's sweet mother of God. 
Anyway, I'm going to be tearing literally everything out, except uh, I'll show you guys this. Because um, it's broken right now, but... Oh, dear lord! <laughs> I missed my head, like, by an inch. Yeah, I, I did that on purpose. <sighs> what would you have done if I caught fire? What would you have done? What would Laugh. you have told my viewers? I, I would have laughed at you. Probably. <laughs> uh, what happened? What happened? Uh, nothing. It was already open. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a string here. It's a... Yes, that's how okay. it's activated. Okay, so there's a string over here that I didn't notice. But, uh, yeah, it's a 5x5 five five piston door designed by Richard. Why isn't it Or doing? Richard, or whatever he Richard. used to be called. Anyway, so this is essentially... We're going we're gonna to save it, uh, not the aesthetics around it. We're going to take all of it down. What is this glass stuff? Uh, that's a column. What? That's the column, support column for the... Okay. Whatever that one is. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be taking all of it down except this piston door and all of its redstone glory. Which is quite... Ah, right in the face. Yep. I got a sea lantern to the face. I hope you're happy. <laughs> that can sound so dirty. But this... anyway, so all the redstone down here, all the redstone up there, we're just going to save. Uh, I'm probably... Judging by how I'm going right now, I'm probably going to be like taking screenshots of this, making sure everything, uh, uh, making sure I can replicate what's on here, and then I'm going to transport it over and we can like encase it in glass or something. Yeah, that's cool. like, It's quite impressive, to be honest. So. As long, as long as we get that door work, fi that part fixed. Yeah. That will be, it was, yeah. Richard will always live on our memories because he's dead now. Yep. Yeah. Well, he'll probably. He might come back just to fix the door, but... Sorry, guys, that was a bit of technical difficulty. Someone rang the doorbell. Didn't want to hear that. Anyway, so, yep, this is all going to be encased in glass. Where do you want to move it? Mm -hmm. Um, should we have, like, an omni museum or something? We could. I mean, remember the, the snow globe idea that we had? Well, I had. No. Um. I mean, I remember what the snow globe was. Where are your eyes? They're on the side of my head. Oh, Dinosaur. okay. I just... If you looked on my screen, I was just looking at you going, Where are your eyes? Where are your eyes, good sir? But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get to tearing this down, and uh, we'll see what else we can do, right? Yep. Alright, let's get this done. Alright, and I think for today, guys, I'm going to end my episode here. Hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun. Go subscribe to Klaus because he used to have more subscribers than me, but he doesn't anymore. So yeah, I took I a more really subscribers long than you. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna come back and whoop your butt. I'll whoop your butt. I'll, I'll set my subscribers on you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh god! He's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! He's gonna I'm kill of, me! I'm out of arrow. Oh yay! Oh, yeah, he comes back with a flint and steel. Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Set the Enderman on fire. Okay. Why aren't you catching on fire? Because I am invincible, damn it. I will beat you to death with an arrow. Here, hiya, hiya. Ah. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, guys, I'll see you. Ah, I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> Where's the water? Where's the water? Oh, that's more fire. That's more fire. Oh, water. So, yeah, after that clip, as you saw, I'm an official member of Omni Slabs, and yeah, it's kind of great to be on here. As you can see, I'm no longer at spawn. I've, um, I borrowed some never, uh, sorry. Well, never. I borrowed some obsidian to create it. Oh, it stopped snowing. That's kind of sad. I borrowed some obsidian to create this nether portal here, and I haven't connected it up to the nether hub yet, but I will in future. Uh, I'm trying to lay out plans for a mob spawner, so yeah, there's, um, I'm trying to look for a design that I can switch off, uh, hopefully I can tinkle with it and get it done, but yeah, here I'm kind of just, oh god, it's a creeper, that's, shoot, no, nobody likes you, nope, nobody likes you, okay, so this is sort of um, a weird uh, sort of uh, place because as you can see it's kind of these these walls here are sheer 
and it's nowhere near where I wanted to be. Uh, well, sort of near where I wanted to be because I wanted to be right in the middle of um, an ice plains biome, and so therefore there were ice spikes nearby, and that's why I was gonna basically hoard. <laughs> I'm gonna hoard all the compressed ice, but uh, yeah, it didn't happen. So apparently the seeds somewhere along the lines got changed, and the map I was using to oh yep that's a creeper. Yep, so, yeah, this is sort of an island, um, ideas I'm gonna have, I'm probably just gonna live in here, uh, there's a bit of sand over there, I'm probably gonna find my own, like, desert and, like, just take all the sand, but yeah, that's, that's sort of the plans and that's where I'm running with it right now, where I came, oh dear lord, there's one right there, um, let's see if we can do this, uh, nope, he's found me, he's found me. Oh, all right, yeah. For some reason on this server, the the uh, creeper explosions are kind of turned off. I'm glad in a way, but sort of it takes the fun away, I guess. But still, it's you know it's what it is. Anyway, so I'm kind of situated down here. Uh, there's a little ladder here, and I'm gonna just jump down and whoop, hope this water works. Whoa, and I live. Yes, so I'm kind of just situated in this ravine. I've got my trusty bed here. I've got uh, a little potato farm going. I've got, as you can see in the hot bar, I've got my pumpkin farm going because I've got um, my lighting. And since I'm going to be the handyman of the uh, of uh, the server, I'm probably going to be setting up my little uh, little little farms to get stuff. And yeah, pumpkins one of the things I'm going to be using for lighting for most most of these uh, t cave tunnels I dig. So instead of this design I'm going to take out this block and I'm going to put a, a jack-o-lantern underneath. And yeah, so this is just simple mine design. Yeah, that's where I've gone so far. So I'm going to work a bit more on here and I'm going to get back to you guys. But for today, I think we'll leave it here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm glad to be back because boy has it been a boring while but yeah and as for the deaths uh, they don't have a death score on here but needless to say I've de died a lot of times including the segment before I came back here and I had to refine this place I had to get dino in on it and like try to find this place it's yeah oh this place is credit to dino as well because he saw this place while you were sort of out walking yeah but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoy my return. I hope you enjoyed some of the content I'm about to give out. And I've upgraded my laptop slightly, so hopefully I can uh, I can record some better stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a nice day. Oh, damn. That was sad. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.